Not that long ago, I was doing a video. It was about a clip-on macro lens. I rather like that little lens. Uh, and while I was making that, my secretary took a phone call and she handed me the note as soon as I was through. And it said, uh, call uh, Mr. Art Eisen about testing out a new macro lens. So I told her just to call them back and ask if it would fit on my iPhone because otherwise there was no point sending it to me. And that's when I discovered it was actually TT Artisan that had left the message and it was a real macro lens. They said I needed a camera to try it out. Really, it's a big improvement. TT Artisan is one of these uh, third party lens makers that uh, have kind of come on the scene and are doing some very interesting things. And this uh, lens is no different. It's a 40 millimeter macro lens. And what makes it interesting and uh, particularly appealing to me is it's a completely manual lens, manual aperture, manual focus, which is how I shoot macro anyway. It's 40 uh, millimeters, which is uh, a, an interesting kind of walking around length for a macro lens. A good 40 millimeter macro lens is also a good 40 millimeter lens. They're good fun to walk around with. And um, this one certainly promises to be all of those things. Uh, it's going to be a budget lens. Uh, it's not one of these big investments in camera gear. It's made for APS-C mirrorless cameras. Uh, the one I have is on a Fuji. It's uh, completely manual, like I say. Just you slap it on and start taking pictures with it. Which is why I came out here uh, on this lovely crisp autumn day uh, of 99.9 .9 million degrees hot and sun and uh, I came down here because there's always bugs down here and uh, we'll see if we can get some pictures of them now with a 40 millimeter lens you have to kind of get quite up close to them and most of the ones around here are stingy types so there may be some swearing in this one I don't know uh, so let's give it a try and uh, see what we think 40 millimeter macro lenses aren't that unusual all the big companies make one and um, it's an interesting lens uh, they're often made for the APS-C cameras. That's what Nikon does with their 40 millimeter. And uh, that's also what this uh, TT Artisan lens is designed for using on a crop frame camera. Now, uh, the lens is, is nice and compact and solid. It's well made. It has a, uh, an aperture ring uh, that feels really good. It's right up next to the camera body and it has a nice solid click to it. So you, uh, uh, you know exactly where you are just by feel, and I like that. The focus ring is huge, and it doesn't have any sticky, rubbery stuff on it, uh, which is kind of what I'm used to. It has grooves cut in the metal instead, which have a kind of nice feel, and they're perfect for sticking a fingernail in to find focus when you head down in the bushes. The uh, I haven't felt look to see how much throw it's got it's about uh, 180 200 degrees of throw from closest focus to furthest uh, it's a fairly fast lens 2.8 at the uh, at the fast end only goes up to f16 uh, so uh, you don't want to be shooting it at, at either of those apertures to be honest i've just been out here for what feels like a solid three to four weeks uh, on this hill because it is so hot and there are so many mosquitoes. Uh, but in the time I have been out, which has been closer to an hour, uh, I've shot at, at all apertures. This lens is not super sharp, wide open. Uh, in fact, it doesn't get macro lens sharp until you get to about F8. And then it's not really macro lens sharp. It's certainly sharp enough, and it's sharp, sharp enough to take some really fun pictures. But uh, I'm not sure I would use this as a product photography macro lens. Uh, or for that matter, uh, that I would put it on a, a, a rail and do a lot of focus stacking with it. It's not that kind of lens. But seeing as one of my uh, 18 New Year's resolutions was to be less negative, 
I'm going to not focus any more on what this lens is not and talk a little bit about what it is. If you're used to shooting with a macro lens that has autofocus and you know fully automatic job like the Tamron 90 or the Nikon 105 or any of these wonderful lenses, then you may have gotten some fairly bad habits when it comes to macro. And uh, probably the worst one I think you can get in is using the the automatic focus on your camera. It just doesn't really work in macro. You, you miss a lot of shots because of it. Well, this would be a really fun way to spend a few days uh, getting back to your roots and learning how to do macro uh, the way we really should be doing it, completely manually. 40 millimeters is a common focal length, but inexpensive, usually APS-C type uh, camera lenses. Uh, that uh, offer macro at an affordable price. Nikon makes a 40 millimeter uh, f2.8 that costs, I believe, about 300 bucks, which is a, a good price for a, for a true macro lens. This one is considerably cheaper than that. It's probably going to be around half that price. Uh, this lens hasn't been released yet, so I really don't know what they're going to charge for it. I'm guessing it'll be somewhere in the ballpark of 150 to 170 dollars. Uh, but it is a, a beautifully made lens. It's got a lovely solid feel to it. There's one design feature of it. Look at the blood from these mosquitoes. They actually spill their food when they're eating me. The one thing about the, the uh, lens that surprises me is how deeply recessed the front element is. It's like almost out the back of the camera. When you're focused one-to-one, -one, you move the lens pretty far forward. When we talk about a traditional longer focal length macro lens, we're talking usually about a full frame sensor size lens that is wickedly sharp, uh, usually pretty much throughout uh, its range. This is not that kind of lens. This isn't a lens that I would put on a rail and focus stack with. I have tried it. It's not really that kind of um, uh, macro lens. So if, if it's not super sharp, uh, what is it then? Well, it's, it's plenty sharp in the middle. Um, it certainly uh, takes some nice pictures around uh, f5.6, f8. I wouldn't go much further than that. It kind of gets dark in there. Um, f2.8, it's really not sharp. It's kind of, it's kind of soft all over. As you might expect from a $150 macro lens, it's not the sharpest 40 millimeter macro lens you're likely to run into. It's not the softest either. Uh, it just it, it is a very uh, ordinary lens, uh, f2.8, f4. The advantage of having a lens like this is you can slap it on your APS-C body and go out and have a an afternoon of great fun. Real seat of the pants, old fashioned macro photography where you have to pick your aperture, manually focus, and uh, you shoot moving your body uh, for fine focus. And uh, when you do that, it's, it's a very engaging fun lens to use. The out of focus parts of uh, shots with this lens are really nice. This is an 11 blade aperture, so it's got a nice soft round uh, out of focus blur. Uh, which I like. Um, I'm not sure it's uh, quite wide enough to be a wide angle macro lens, but it's certainly wide enough to have lots of fun with. Uh, there are a couple of drawbacks to using a 40 millimeter macro lens. To use a 40 millimeter macro lens, you have to get really close to your subject. So if you read the specs on this TT Artisan lens, you'll see that uh, you have really quite a bit of room to work with. The minimum focus distance is, is pretty long. It's uh, what, about six inches. Yeah, that's about right. But that six inches, when you have this thing focused in at your minimum focus distance or your maximum magnification ratio, the end of this lens hood, which is really what the inner part of this lens is, is a telescoping lens hood. That thing's gonna be about five centimeters, four centimeters from your subject. So even 
relatively non-skittish bugs are going to take uh, exception to you being quite that close. So they're, they're not easy to use, but no manual 40 millimeter lenses are because you basically have to be up the nostrils of your, uh, of your bee or whatever. The bees have nostrils. I'm willing to bet because I said it, they probably don't have nostrils. They've probably got holes in their kneecaps that uh, they breathe through. If you're comfortable with the uh, manual lenses, you'll enjoy this one. If you're not, this would be a fantastic teaching aid to learn how to better manage a camera manually. This lens was made for the photographer who does wild, big wildlife landscape, uh, people who are outdoors trekking around in nature and run into things that they wish they had a macro lens to shoot but don't want to lug around a pound and a half of glass and metal. This is for them. So if anybody ever tells you they bought a TT Artisan 40 millimeter macro lens and they broke the front element, ask them what they were doing with that ice pick. Because with the metal cap and how far down inside the lens that thing is, they had to have done it with an ice pick. So the question I have to answer, because otherwise why would you watch this video, is uh, would I recommend this lens? Providing two conditions were met, I would recommend this lens. The first condition is that it doesn't cost $500. Uh, if it comes in around $120, $130, $140, I would say it's a, it's a good purchase for that. It's a great fun lens. I have a feeling it's going to last as long as you have it. I mean, well, that's what last means, isn't it? It's going to last a long time. It's solidly built. It's like a tank and it's manual. There's no motors to break down or computers to go HAL 9000 on you. I'm completely operational and all my circuits are functioning perfectly. So, um, yeah, that was the first condition that would need to be met. The second is that the person who was buying it knows what a 40 millimeter macro lens is and doesn't confuse it with a uh, 105 millimeter flagship macro lens because that lens is going to do things this lens is not. Of course, this lens is manual. That means it has a manual aperture ring only and it also focuses manually. Um, so if you're not comfortable using a lens on the fly manually, this lens isn't for you, though it would be a fantastic way to learn how to use one manually. It is great fun. Uh, it'll teach you how you're supposed to focus in macro. You'll get really good at it with a lens like this. That's why I love them. Uh, but the other thing is, if you're thinking that this would be the macro lens of your dreams, uh, where you could have a macro lens for outdoor macro, you could use it on your uh, stack shot as a, a super sharp focus stacking lens. You could do product photography with it. No, you couldn't do any of those things with it. It's not sharp enough. It's not the kind of, it's not the kind of lens that takes those pictures that are so sharp you go, wow, look at that and show it to somebody who doesn't even know anything about photography and say, look, look how sharp that is. And they say, oh yes, they don't know what you're talking about, but you do. And this isn't that lens. But let me hasten to add, when I say that this is not a product photographer's macro lens, it's not that it's a bad lens. It just doesn't have those superlative qualities of sharpness that you're going to pay a couple of thousand dollars for. That's all I'm saying. I'll give you one warning though. I know people who have bought a hundred dollar macro lens because they didn't think they'd ever use it, but they wanted to have one just in case, which is not a bad idea. And they bought the cheapest thing that they could find and started using it. And two years later, they've got their house in its 15th mortgage trying to raise more money for the next round of uh, macro equipment. This stuff will get under your skin. And this is exactly the kind of lens. You could consider this a gateway lens. So after all that, I would say this, that uh, the TT Artisan 40 millimeter F2.8 macro lens 
is a fantastic little manual macro lens. Providing you know that going into it, that it has a manual aperture ring and manual focus only. And if you are looking for something of this short of a focal length, I think you'll be really happy with this lens. It's great fun. It's well made, nice, solid piece of kit. I think you'll be happy with it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back again in a few days with something. Who knows what? I don't. And uh, until then, stay safe and be well.